Hi there, this is Aaron. Today is Sunday the 22nd of December and it's day 34 on the allotment. It's just a couple of days before Christmas. Um, I wanted to come down here just to uh, give a final record of uh, everything I've done throughout the year. Um, and uh, also really to thank everybody for all of their help and uh, wish you all Merry Christmas. So uh, first of all, let me turn the camera around and uh, let's take a look around. Starting off with my rhubarb, which you can see in there, where uh, I've kept the muck away from the crown. Um, the crown's actually looking really rhubarb in colour actually, so I'm hoping that that's ready to uh, burst into life uh, in spring. You can see Cheeky now, who's a lot more in plain view, that I've cut down the raspberry canes. I've cut them right the way down to the floor. Um, I've left the support in place to basically show me where they're going to come through next year. But uh, I am going to put something that's uh, a little bit more uh, substantial there with um, some wood and uh, some wire between them. And so uh, that's my plan for the spring. Looking at what's happening in here, um, all of my onions that have come through are doing very, very well. Some of them are actually getting quite big now. And uh, also the uh, elephant garlic's come through, so that's doing very well. My broad beans continue to get bigger and bigger and bigger as we go along the row. I'm really, really pleased with these. These are doing really, really well. And uh, of course I hope they're not too big so that uh, the frost does things to them when it finally does get here. Um, I'm sure that the reason that I'm doing well here is uh, because we've actually had an extremely mild winter so far. So uh, let's, uh, let's keep our fingers crossed on that one. Looking at my strawberries, um, yeah, lots of green there. They're uh, really enjoying the, the winter sun and uh, they're looking as if they're ready to uh, get going in spring as well. I'm not actually gonna let these flower. I, I think it was Tony that gave the tip that uh, if I take the flowers off, then I'll get a stronger plant. Um, so that's my plan for these. No strawberries this summer, but uh, hopefully uh, give uh, them a chance to get really well established. And also when the runners come, I'm gonna take those off and uh, try the other tip that I saw, which is to put them in water to see if they will root so that uh, then we can have even more strawberry plants the, the year after. Now, if I was going to get a Christmas present from the allotment, I would say that it would be really nice if I could see some of my garlic coming through. And sure enough, I can see some of my garlic coming through. Um, the shadows are throwing there, but uh, yeah, it's definitely there. The green shoots have come through, so that's just in a few weeks. Uh, that the garlic has rooted and is now coming through. Um, as with the onions, the onions are doing very well as well. Um, and you can see, um, if you remember, that there were uh, some onions on the end there of the top row. But uh, these first two rows are onions, so they're coming through as well. And uh, everything's looking really great. Looking across here, um, I put lots of cardboard down um, so that uh, basically to suppress the grass and the weeds of where I wasn't going to be working immediately. And uh, so uh, that's uh, all now covered. Um, there's a little bit at the top there, but uh, I've got plans for that and uh, I'm going to be digging that early in the new year. As you can see down here, this if I was going to be digging anywhere is where I'm going to be digging and it's completely waterlogged, it's completely undiggable. Um, that's going to be my lot for this year. If the, if the frost comes, I might have a go at it then. Of course, it's going to be very tough, but at least it's not going to be clumpy. So uh, I think I've got to wait for some colder weather um, or some drier weather, and then I can get going on this properly. I've also covered up um, alongside, on the other side of the broad beans, um, because yeah, this is probably going to be the last place I am digging because the soil in here is horrible and uh, it needs a lot of work doing on it. So uh, I wanted to uh, get some cardboard down to suppress the weeds on that side, uh, and it is. I still need some more to finish it off, um, but at least uh, a large part of it has been covered up, which is good. 
So that's really my allotment for the end of the year. It's very, very blowy today. Um, I'm hoping that you can hear me okay when I play this back. Um, I'm really not that unhappy about what I've got at the end of the year. Um, I've got as many plants growing as anybody else on this plot and uh, they seem to be doing pretty well so I think I've managed to give myself a fighting chance for the spring when it comes along. Um, let's just take a look at something because if we look at the allotment now this is the allotment as I look across it today with the broad beans growing, all of the alliums growing and uh, over in the corner the rhubarb growing and uh, the raspberries now cut down that's how it is today and this is how it was when I first came along again looking across from this angle into the, uh, the corner that we were just standing in this is it today and this was it just six months ago when I first stepped on the allotment I noticed also that uh, a lot of people are doing things indoors and uh, some of you have these wonderful facilities of grow rooms and it's amazing what people are doing in there. Um, I've, I've, I've learned so much from you in watching those videos and certainly um, I would encourage everybody to go and see what Dale and what Halvor is doing um, in their grow rooms um, because it really does show what a science this is. Uh, I'm, I'm nowhere near being able to uh, do half the things that those guys can. Um, but uh, what I have got is a little windowsill and uh, on there I've also been growing things back home. These are my Scotch Bonnet chilies. You can also see uh, Christmas cards hanging up there. So uh, yes, I planted these uh, back in the summer and I think the general rule is that the hotter the chilli, the slower it grows. And so these were very, very small. You can see now if I put my hand in there, you know, sort of uh, how uh, they're getting on. Um, they didn't bear any chilies last year because obviously they needed to grow up. But uh, we put them on the windowsill here and we've also put them, you know, just above the radiator. And uh, they appear to be doing very well. They are thriving. Um, so I, I initi During the heat wave that we had, I put them outside um, and they did really well. But I left them out slightly too long um, and some of the lower leaves fell off. But, uh, you know, if you can see now, they're actually growing back. So what I'm hoping is that we can nurse these through the winter. And uh, next year we can have some uh, chilies, which would be really nice. Um, oh, you can also see uh, the yoga frog as well. And uh, this is my rosemary, which at some point I'm going to plant out. Um, this is one of the cardboard tubes I'm going to use for planting next year. I'll be showing you all about that. And uh, I noticed that uh, Halvor was uh, showing his fuchsias. Well, these are my fuchsias um, that, uh, again, we've got overwintering on the windowsill, you know, just keeping them damp. And uh, they seem to be uh, having green shoots as well. So, uh, yeah, that's what's going on on our windowsill. Oh, so I think that's it from my allotment this year. Uh, I do wish everybody a very Merry Christmas um, or whatever celebration that uh, you're, you're, you're about to, to have this year. Um, I hope that uh, the year ahead is full of good things for all of you. I'd like to thank you for everybody that has subscribed to this channel. Um, I have over 135 subscribers now and I had no idea it was going to be like that. So thank you so much. Um, all the people that have been viewing the videos, all the people that have been leaving comments. Uh, you've really helped me. I wouldn't have got this far without you. I, I really do appreciate it. Uh, hopefully uh, your endeavours are working and you can see that I am learning things. But uh, yes, please enjoy the season. Uh, if you like to drink, drink a lot. If you like to eat, eat a lot. If you like to go out, go out a lot. If you like to sit down and rest, then rest a lot. Whatever it is that you enjoy doing, I hope you do a lot of it. And uh, I will see you in the new year. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.